Hello, I'm David Hoffman, and in this episode, we'll take a look at the breadboard temperature control fan circuit that I'm working on and some panel mount LED holders. Any temperature controlled circuit is going to start with a temperature sensor, and you may be wondering just how do they work. So let's find out. The temperature sensor I have here is a tiny little fellow that is designed to fit into a small battery-like holder, but they can also be soldered to something as well. Now, as the temperature of the sensor changes, its resistance value changes as well. I've attached two wires to this temperature sensor for testing purposes. So let's hook up a meter to the sensor and measure the resistance value. As you can see, the resistance is 1.83k ohms and when I grab hold of the temperature sensor we can see that the resistance value begins falling and after a few seconds it begins to settle. Now when I release my grip on the sensor it begins to cool and the resistance value starts rising back towards its original value. Let's do the same experiment but with a voltage divider. I've got a 1K ohm resistor set up in series with the temperature sensor and the meter is set to read voltage. As you can see, the voltage is reading about 1.755 volts. But when I grab the temperature sensor, the voltage begins rising as the resistance of the temperature sensor changes. And when I release the sensor, the voltage begins dropping back to where it was originally. And by using the voltage divider, we can connect the sensor to an ADC input on a microcontroller and convert that voltage value to a digital number. I had to find a way to connect the sensor to the heat sink. I didn't even attempt to solder the sensor directly to the heat sink for obvious reasons. So I had to come up with another solution. I decided to take one of these little wire mounting connectors and flatten out the section where the wire is attached. This gave me a great base to solder the sensor to. Then I just needed to solder a wire to the other side of the sensor. Now I can easily attach and remove the sensor from a heat source with ease. Okay, let's get on with the demonstration of the working temperature controlled fan. So what we've got here is a May 28 a with a 16F882 microcontroller, a LED display, control circuitry for the fan, 5 volt regulator with 12 volts coming in here and the fan of course. On the back of this heat sink right here is where the temperature sensor is and that runs over to the microcontroller and through another resistor to create a voltage divider that varies depending on the temperature of the heat sink. So we can go ahead and turn that on as you can see we uh, light up right away here. What I'll do now is connect this 10 watt 10 ohm resistor to ground. This creates a load on this 5 volt regulator and you can see almost immediately that the temperature starts going up. Now when it reaches a certain point the fan will kick in and start cooling the uh, heat sink in the uh, voltage regulator. And there it goes. As you can see the fan is now running and we put it back down here so that it's hitting the heat sink. You notice there's an immediate reaction to how the temperature is changing. And we're actually starting to reverse here now. Now I should note also that the 16F882 has a 10-bit analog to digital converter, but we're only using the most significant bits here. There are two bits that aren't represented on this display, and they're pretty much ignored uh, for the most part. But if you wanted a higher sensitivity uh, setup, you could include those extra two bits in your calculations. But as you can see, we pretty much have stabilized our temperature here. And if I come over and disconnect the load, 
you'll see the temperature start dropping rapidly. And when we get to a certain point, the fan will quit running. Try to angle this here so that you can see the fan and that it's actually still hitting the air is still hitting the heat sink there. It's a little bit slower like this. And we should cut off right about now, any second here. There it goes. The fan is now off. So there's our temperature control circuit. I plan on taking this down to a smaller microcontroller and getting everything pretty much uh, mounted on one of these small prefab Radio Shack red ones here. Okay, one other thing I wanted to talk about was these neat little panel mount LED holders that I picked up. They snap right into a quarter inch hole and retain the LED that's inserted into them with ease. The other nice thing is that these holders can be removed when needed. That's it for this episode, and thanks for watching.